But do you think uh, heroin should be legal? Huh? Well, no, heroin's the rubbish one. Probably on F in my tier list. What's at the top of the drug tier list? Probably marijuana, but and the blue stuff. But uh. Into the flame, into the fire, with no regard for a thing but that I'm the Lord of the Dead. I rule this empire. I am the God of Hellfire, Lord of the Dead. Do you guys think we should be legal? Yeah. Oh yeah, 100%. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Do you think it would be a net positive for society if it was legalized? Uh, no, I think there would definitely be positives, but I'm not saying there wouldn't be negatives. I think what well, California, uh, I think they have a good policy. If you have uh, any kind of uh, stress disorder, mental disorder, thing, they, and you have to sign up for a card to get it. But they have a new policy that I've just seen where you have to be, if you're between 18 and 21, I think, you can only get two Gs per day and it's like 21 plus, it's like you can get more. Yes, I do. What about heroin? No, I don't. Where do you draw the line? Uh, I think I draw the line on things that have the potential to kill people. I think that cannabis is a medicinal part that has been used for hundreds of thousands of years by humanity. Uh, what about heroin? Nah, probably not, no. So if weed was legalized, do you think we'd see a net benefit in UK society? There'd be less drug dealers. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be safer to get it. Definitely. Do you think it would have a net positive on UK society? Yeah, well, it will bring down the crime rate. And the fact is, it has so many medicinal purposes, or benefits, anywhere from cancer to mental health to uh, uh, other ranges of reasons that I can't think of right now. So medicinal use first, you'd say? Uh, yeah. yeah. A step in the right direction, I'd say. Do you think it'd be like gradual implementation of saying the first thing that the UK would have to do is be a medicinal to help people that really need it? Yeah, I swear it already can be prescribed medicinally. There's, I believe I there's, probably. yeah, I actually am not too sure on the UK. If it was legalised though in UK, do you think there'd be certain restrictions that have to be in place? Like, you know, you can't drink and drive, like something similar with Definitely. weed? Definitely. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I think, I think the rules would have to be similar to alcohol. If Same it was legalised, it would be like a lot safer as well. You could get like properly grown things. Say for like you mean it wouldn't be like spiked and other stuff yeah, and more yeah, legitimate. Yeah. Sprayed. sprayed with random chemicals. Yeah, quite yeah. frequently in, and you'll know what's like, in it. Yeah, street weed that you buy these days has so much shit sprayed on it. Like it's proper strong. And we the only uh, drug, like illicit drug right now you think should be legal? No, I feel shrooms should be, uh, it should be legal. Any other psychedelics? LSD. Just any psychedelic, they're quite natural. What makes them uh, better than say something like a heroin? Too? Because it's naturally grown and heroin fucks you up. Heroin's from a poppies though. It's from where? Poppies. Oh. Yeah, but you can't just pick off a puppy. Pick off a poppy <laughs> and like. Well, it's a bit more complex than that, yeah, but. Exactly. But then you can just find a mushroom and eat it. Things like cannabis, uh, psilocybin mushrooms, other like non-harmful psychedelics, things like acid, stuff to that effect. Same that have potential for harm. Hmm? You're saying they don't have the potential for harm? Well, they have the potential for the person to end up harming themselves if they have a bad trip, but that's... or something to that effect. Psycholog you're saying uh, like they're but, damaging to the body inherently? Yeah, it, things like... I like I know people that take some more undesirable substances, and I know that they that things like... I don't know, it, it's... What are these undesirable substances? Things like, what are the main ones? I don't know, things like ketamine, cocaine, stuff like that that are just inherently harmful to the human. We've been, we've been doing them as a species for long enough that it just makes no sense to be like, hey, we don't like this anymore. Make make, make that a punishable offense. But I mean, we've been using opioids for <laughs> hundreds of years as well. Didn't you say that's a bad thing? Well, I, uh, opioids actually are synthetic. Op we've been using opiates for yeah, hundreds of thousands yeah, of really years. Mm. And the way that we produce them nowadays, the kind of chemicals that we put into them to make them fun, to make them like good drugs, is what ma is what is inherently what makes them harmful. Uh, so you said for medicinal reasons, right? Yeah. Uh, you'd like, but what are the reasons for general legalization that you would? I mean, the reality is everyone uses it recreationally, and as, as a generation, I I'm pretty sure at least I'm pretty sure I I did some research. 60% of people, may probably less, use it recreationally. 24 and under. Do you think something like uh, heroin should be legal? No, no. Why not? Well, heroin is a class A drug. I mean, uh, we're a class B drug. So you think all class A drugs should stay legal? Not legal in a sense, but... 
how do you determine like the severity is what I'm saying? Like, so you say weed, weed is, isn't that harmless, right? But something like weed you're saying is pretty harmful. We need to crack that down. Yeah, well, I mean, you have to smoke seven tons of weed in 10 minutes in order to overdose. Whilst with heroin, you take two hits from a needle and you're- More dangerous. Exactly. So o opioids, you're saying opioids, too far. Thing, things that will overdose you in small quantities. What about something like psychedelics? Psychedelics? Depends, because case to case, because some- LSD, psilocybin mushrooms? It really depends. I mean, like mushrooms that you can pick on the moor, probably legal, but you know, something like- Synthetic? Synthetics, like fentanyl, synthetic weed, things that will overdose you instantly, just illegal still. I'm surprised you haven't talked about addiction. <laughs> well, oh, yeah, Good addiction. That's, exactly. that's addiction, why, isn't it? Yeah, it fucks yeah, you up. More addictive. Yeah. Yeah, like- and more people die, and also heroin, statistically. Heroin kill you. Weed it's can't. easier to overdose on heroin than it is streams. You can't, you can't yeah. overdose on weed. And you can't overdose on weed. Do you think though, if we made, um, if weed was legalized, we'd see like more complacency and laziness among people, perhaps? Um, no, because I feel people would have, they would think, feel they have more control, uh, and it would just be a more. I can't describe it really. I feel it doesn't matter because the people who are already smoking weed would be the ones smoking the weed that they could get legally. So I feel it'd be the same amount of lazy people. I don't know. For like medicinal purposes, yeah. So if someone like has a condition? Yeah, definitely. Um, do you, what about heroin? <laughs> I don't know really. I don't really have an opinion. Like, it can be good, it can be bad. You're saying that like, maybe someone's like, it sort of helps him, you know, he's just like living his good life doing heroin. It's <laughs> as long as they don't get addicted, then yeah. Maybe like only once a week or something with the boys. If they can, if they don't get addicted, then yeah, once a week with the boys. I'm with my boys! <laughs> yeah, like he's not he's not addicted, like he's just having fun, you know? Yeah, having fun, yeah. Right. What about uh, something like heroin? Do you think that should be legal? <laughs> Absolutely yeah. not. Absolutely. Where do you draw the line? Uh, well, I think because weed, there's a certain level, like people say it's weed is a gateway drug, but... I think people just, if you smoke loads of weed, the worst thing that can happen is you just gotta lie down for a couple of hours. Yeah. Can't, like, there's no risk of, like, obviously there's some... Overdose. There, yeah, there's some cases where people will smoke and have, like, a bad reaction to it. It can, like, lead to, like, almost schizophrenia or something like that. But, but if it was legal, that'd probably get avoided, if you, you could argue, if it was dosed there appropriately. So do you think cannabis would be the only drug that you would say should be legalised, nothing, and everything else would just remain illicit? Well... Psychedelics. They, I think exactly. they, they need yeah. to be revised on whether they should be legal. And uh, there's numerous like health benefits for like LSD, psilocybin mushrooms. Yeah, exactly. Legalized People mushrooms. with uh, anxiety and, and depression. There's like studies to show how how psychedelics uh, helps them. Do you think if if weed was made legal, it might cause like complacency and laziness among certain people, and it might cause some problems? I mean, no. Because like we have um like alcoholics. Some people might be oh my dad's an alcoholic, and we see a lot of problems from alcohol, right? Do you think it might cause something like that for the next generation, but regards to weed? I think that problem already exists. I think what we should do is legalize weed, tax it, and put that money into helping like uh, rec uh, recovering addicts and systems in place to help support these people, reintegrate into society and become like functioning members. As so you're saying, basically, legality doesn't really matter because it's already so prominent. It's yeah. already, we're already feeling the effects, yeah. you know? What would help better is taxing it, making it legal, regulating it. Like, imagine if there was a company that regulated the amount of THC level that, that it sold to its customers, so you know all that its products were safe. Every, like, all its, all its weed wasn't synthetic, wasn't made with fentanyl. And I mean, like, spiked. Yeah, wasn't spiked and could be sold in, like, proper quantities and with the proper information to help people have safe and recreational and fun experiences without the risk or you know harms of synthetic weeds and taxing that those 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 companies and putting that money into helping recovering addicts for drug uh, dr uh, for dr uh, alcohol dr other drugs and any other forms of uh, abuse so more information more safety and if it's legal you're saying as well you can tax it and that would just help more people enjoy exactly it. though i think it should be government run and owned instead of having private businesses do it, because therefore there's- Have trust in the government? Having trust in the government, not right now, maybe in the future, you know. If you need to decrease population, because we do have an overpopulation crisis coming up soon, heroin could actually be the solution to this. Do you think, if we get everyone hooked on heroin, they should overdose? 
Yeah, and we can solve the overpopulation crisis. The homeless people especially, because they don't really help anyone much. I know, they're just lying around they're and doing it's, it's easy to trip over them. If we add fentanyl especially, because fentanyl is very potent and it kills in person. Uh, absolutely, I mean, it's such an underrated view, I, I completely agree. So do you think overpopulation is a serious issue? Yes, like, um, where, where am I going to live with these people outside my house? It, it's but no... what about, do you not think there's like too many old people and there's not going to be enough young people working well, that's, you know, to sustain? That's what coronavirus is for. Yeah. I see, I see. So you think it was more of like a tactical move, you know, by the Chinese, they're saying, okay, now, you know, before they were like one-shot policy, now they're like, we're gonna get rid of the old people, so their economies will be better. I, I'm not pointing any fingers, but it, it seems like a good solution to many of our crises. The, opi the opioids, right, like heroin, fentanyl, they shouldn't be legalized, but they can be used very effectively to solve other issues. Yes. I see. And you're saying, okay, so maybe for public use, right, we have the blue stuff, we have marijuana, people enjoy that, right? And then maybe, you know, if we want to get rid of some of these undesirables, so we put it, we can use the opioids. Yes. There are no recorded deaths from cannabis use. Not a single one. Not from, like, actively taking cannabis. There are people who have gotten so high that they've gotten themselves into stupid situations and ended up dying, but there's no, like... If I pull no, up the statistic here, yeah, there's no... Word. Yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. So do, do you think something like some of the situation with nicotine and alcohol where it's yeah. so prevalent, you can't get rid of it? You're saying cannabis, it's so prevalent, it's, but it's, you can't... It, it's so prevalent that there's, that there's literally no way that you'd be able to crack down on it enough to fully get rid of it, so there's no point trying. Yeah, so the fact though, it's basically legal. It, it's, it, essentially, it's, it's, le it's legal, but people will kind of slap you on the wrist and tell you not to do it if they catch you with it. And it's just a waste of everybody's time and effort. It, and it's like, Pe like, I don't know, so say someone gets searched, searched somewhere, like, they get their grinder and their bong taken or something, and they get all of their shit taken. They're just gonna go and buy a new one. They're gonna go and get more of it. They're, they're gonna keep, they're, they're not gonna stop doing it. There's no point. Doesn't it sound like an addiction? N not even, it, it's, it's just, I don't know, it's we just, it seems. Weed isn't it doesn't we, have yeah, to be psychologically addictive. Psychologically addictive, but. Yeah, but not really. If people have broken the law, by smoking weed, they're more likely to break the law and do other things because they've already crossed the barrier of doing it once. Whereas if it was legal, someone's still never broken the law, so they're like, oh no, I can't. Like, it feels so normal to break the law every day. Mm. Do you think we would see a net positive if weed was legalized or negative? I don't know. Probably negative because like a lot of people would abuse it. But what what sort of things would you think would would see? A lot of crackheads. On weed. Um, not on weed. Like weeds, weeds like not as bad in my opinion. But yeah. I mean they're crackheads because they're using cracks. So or maybe like weed heads, potheads. Maybe yeah. <laughs> they're just like lazy, just not doing it like stoners. Yeah. <laughs> it would sort of just amplify the problem. You think like? Um, it could do, but I'm not a drug expert, so yeah. Do you think something like MDMA should be uh, legalized? I think. Well, I haven't done my research. Maybe if it was actually proved to be beneficial. There, there's there been tests where they've given it to uh, war veterans and it's helped them with uh, I mean, uh, PTSD. The, uh, the dopamine released from MDMA could be beneficial for someone with like depression or something. That release of like serotonin could be beneficial, but I also, yeah, I'm not too sure. I haven't really looked into any research done on MDMA. So general opinion, uh, stuff like weed and psychedelics are more okay and stuff like opioids. Yeah, Keep I, them I feel like yeah. that can, that they yeah. have a much higher rate of like addiction. <laughs>